Public universities are supposed to be a marketplace of ideas. But what happens if those ideas are pro-life? This week, we introduce you to Norvelia Etienne, a Catholic pro-life student who faced resistance for simply wanting to start a pro-life club. Norvelia Etienne values life because she almost didn't have one. When I was 16, I found out that my mom considered having an abortion. It was a piece of her own past history that would lead to a future decision. When I found this out, the Lord started working in my heart and he started um, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Um, and he brought people in my life, my spiritual director, Catholic priest, um, and Students for Life of America came just at, the same, at that same time. Etienne decided she wanted to start a Students for Life of America club at Queens College, a public New York University. Quite honestly, all colleges need a pro-life club um, because there are pregnant women on our campuses and they do need the resources that Students for Life of America and um, the pregnancy resources have to offer. A lot of them don't know this and so they think um, when they get pregnant in, in college that their only option is, is, is to have an abortion and Planned Parenthood knows this. Norvelia, along with other Queens students, filled out the paperwork and crafted their club constitution when they ran into a roadblock with the Campus Affairs Committee. When we were proposing our, our club and why we needed it on campus, um, the people on, on, the, on the board, they asked us to stop um, talking so much about um, the statistics on how, why we needed the club there because of Planned Parenthood being so close by and, and, and our students. They asked us to stop stating the facts um, and just to state, you know, what, what, do, you, what do you want to be here for? Why, why do you want to be here? Um, and I proceeded to repeat myself because <laughs> that's why we needed to be there. The students were told they would receive an answer by the end of the day, but they heard nothing. After a week of, of, of asking them, you know, what is your decision on this, they told us, well, we've decided to deny you official club status at Queens College. And when we peered in, when we asked, okay, why, so that we could improve our processes for next semester, at least to, to reapply, nothing. We heard nothing back, and we were kind of expecting it at that point. ATN reached out to Students for Life of America, who reached out to their lawyers, Alliance Defending Freedom. The religious liberty law firm filed suit against Queens College and the school relented on their decision. But as one of ADF's attorneys tells us, the pro-life battle isn't over yet. But the case still is going forward because they're not allowing her to have equal access to some of the student funding and really she could lose her status as a student group um, at really at any time. So we're working to fight that policy at Queens as well as on other colleges. So all students can be free to form these groups and to serve, serve women and to be able to engage others, other students in, in real good dialogue. For this college student, it's a pro-life battle still worth fighting. A person is a person no matter how small and they deserve equal treatment.